When I was in college, one of the things that I had heard is there was so much potassium in our soils naturally, we shouldn't have to add potassium as farmers where we farm in South Dakota. Well, that wasn't true at all. The opposite, in fact, is true that the number one yield limiting factor we see on most farms in the United States is lack of potassium. Here's where the problem comes. Is there potassium naturally in soils? Yeah, there's lots of it. The problem is it's held in feldspars. Feldspars are rocks. Rocks don't break down very quickly. They're not going to break down in time for your crop to take advantage of that potassium. The other thing along with that is you have to have a good ratio of magnesium to potassium. If that ratio is off, you've got big time problems. Magnesium and potassium always compete against each other to get into the plant. So you want to make sure that you have your ratio one to one or two to one somewhere in that range of magnesium to potassium in terms of parts per million. Coming up on the last Saturday of June, we have one of our most exciting events all year. It's called Ag PhD's Scouting and Scholarships event, where we're going to give away over 100 college scholarships. So if you want to learn more about agronomy and have the opportunity to win a college scholarship, please join us. Just go to agphd.com to learn more.